wow, that was an amazing episode. Well, I, I feel, I say that a lot, but, like, that is, I should stop doing that as much, because when I say it in t at times like this, it doesn't seem as big, but, like, that episode was definitely the best uh, Whitaker era episode, uh, the, the tension, like, the, the, the threat was, like, immense, like, because we know there's probably a companion leaving at the end of the season, we don't know which one, and Cybermen are going after them, so, ma massive threat, and the whole, like, it looked, like, visually amazing, all the Cybermen going down, and the, the, the music, the Cyberman theme, I think Sega Nakanola called it, I think, is incredible it was played rather a lot though like every time cyberman bam the music but i'm not complaining because i love it and i'm just thinking wow this is awesome doctor who is incredible and it was such a great episode um one of the best doctor episodes i'm i i can't i've got a whole week to wait to look forward to uh, the next episode and definitely at some point i'm gonna do a whole big watch of both of them together i think that'll be incredible um so I think, um, I don't think this episode built up to the hype, because everyone was saying it's game changing, it's a massive twist, I think the next episode will, but this episode didn't, I, I think it just started to become like that, the master is back, Sasha Dewan as the master, I think he is already my favourite portrayal as the master, close by with Missy, um, but yeah, I, like, he's just incredible as the master, and he, in the next time, the bit in the next time, the way he said those, those lines was really chilling and it was just great. Um, so I can't wait till the next episode. Um, and it's like the shots of Gallifrey and that portal thing were amazing. And then we have Luke Skywalker, or whatever his name is, uh, Kasavin. I don't know what's going on there. Like, they thought it was a planet, but then he's a. He's a man, and then uh, this morning I, I remembered the name Kasavin from Doctor Who, and I couldn't remember where from, like what episode or who it was. Um, I can't remember where we first heard of Kasavin or like who he. I might need to rewatch the series. I don't remember who Kasavin is or where we heard of him or anything. But I remember hearing his name before. I don't know uh, that. So that's weird, and also you also don't know what's going on with the guy in the in the flashbacks or whatever when he uh, I can only assume he's he got turned into a Cyberman at the end um, I don't know what's going on with that whatsoever uh, so there's still loads of questions to be answered also Jack Hartness he he wasn't in that episode I hoped he was he wasn't but hopefully uh, I have really high hope he's in the next one uh, it'd be annoying if he isn't I just thought like it, it reminded of him when that Brandon guy came back to life. I was like, oh yeah, Jack, he comes back to life. Like he can't die. So yeah, even if he got converted to a side man, it still doesn't explain why he didn't die. So that's weird. I don't know. Um, oh, it's been ages. I've completely forgotten how Jack became a mortal. Oh, I'm being so stupid. What's going on? Um, oh, I'm gonna kick myself when I remember. Um, ah, um. So let me think, when did we, we first met Jack in uh, the Doctor Dances, whatever, the Empty Child Doctor Dances, and was he Immortal Ben? No, 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 I remember, Parting of the Ways, Rose was like, hey, I'm, like, God now, you, you can live forever if you want, I'm pretty sure that's, I'm pretty sure that's happened, yeah, and he becomes the face of Bo, um, yeah, that's amazing. Uh, so, wow, I, like, I literally clapped at the end of the episode, that was incredible. Sidemen, that's, I think it's the best Sidemen story. No, it's not, Doctor Fools, I don't know, um, Doctor Fools, really good, I think it's the best portrayal of the Sidemen. The Doctor Fools was a good episode, not because of the Sidemen, but because of, like, all the other stuff that happened in that episode, but this was the best portrayal, this was the best episode for the Sidemen. Like, incredible. And then, Master at the end, I've already said that, but, uh, jumping out, and then he's like, like, I was more shocked then, I think, at his return. I don't know why, because I was expecting it, but I was like, 
more happy and surprised and shocked that he'd return then than in Spyfall. I don't because all the hype like it was building up. It was like oh, Simon, oh, hype the music, ah, oh, and then suddenly Master and amazing. Um, and and it looks like the Master is going to show the Doctor um, the big the big twist, the big the big mis the answer to the big mystery in the next episode. Uh, we've only seen about I think it was like a 20 second next time trailer. So we've only seen 20 seconds of one hour and five minutes. So. God knows what's going to happen in that episode, I cannot wait. Um, I'm going to make this episode a 9.5 out of 10. It was incredible, but it wasn't perfect. Uh, so that's why I think I'm going to rate it there. So I will see you all next week. Uh, every video, I promise I'm going to make another video before my Doctor Who review, but I never get around to doing it. So I'm just going to say I'll see you next week with my uh, view of the finale. And then after that, I'll do a whole... Uh, series 12 review like complete uh, as well probably probably the week after that um, and then and then we have to wait another year we might have another one on the new year's so it's a little bit less than a year but oh I don't know how I'm gonna do that um, but we've got the finale to look forward to so we're fine okay uh, thank you for watching everyone I hope you enjoyed because if you didn't then you've wasted about seven minutes of your life thank you for watching good bye